Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to a Random Pick Day. Now, what I wanted to do for you on the 25th episode of this series is to sort of go 250k, which has got 2 and 5 in it, like 25, and then a multiplier of that, which will be like double it to 500,000. So that right there is going to be our budget today. A buy it now's of that price as well, so they should be relatively expensive players. Now, the most interesting player to me on page number 3 for our first one today is going to be 87 rated Crespo. Uh, I know that his prime has come out lately, so why not pick up the 87? See how he compares. Is he actually any good on the game? Uh, and then 87 Milinkovic Savage is the next player that I thought, you know what? I've got the path to glory version of him, and I want to see how we can fit him into a team, of course, uh, on the random pick, and that'll be interesting as well. Followed by, uh, well, uh, on page number nine, the most interesting one that I thought, someone from this week's team of the week, Michi Bashuai, 87 rated, with some pretty crazy stats. I thought him and Crespo up front, Milinkovic Savic in the midfield, that could be pretty tasty. Now, guys, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying today's random pick episode. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's try and aim towards a thousand likes. And of course, don't forget to sub to the channel if you're new around here. Now, let's get on into it. Uh, today, I'm going to be using the 442. Bog standard, something I normally look completely over. And it might be one of my new favorite formations on this game. Really enjoyed playing with it today. Uh, and it's just literally the bog standard formation that everyone starts ultimate team with. Uh, so this is where I'm going to be playing everyone. Right center mid for Milinkovic Savic. Right striker for Crespo. Left striker for uh, our main man Batshuayi. So... Uh, we have Forster in goal today. I needed a Southampton. Well, I didn't in the end, really. I just needed to get uh, a strong link from one of those two players in the defense. Could have gone for a Dutch goalkeeper, I guess. Could have ended up getting like Sillison or something in. Uh, but I decided not to. Uh, I've, I've gone for Forster. And I've got to say, for a 78 rated keeper, he wasn't too bad. Uh, we've gone for low rated fullbacks today, but pacey ones. Karsdorp uh, and also uh, Van Arnholt. So pace and Dutch players with, of course, Van Dijk and uh, De Vrij in the centre-back positions. Out on the right-hand side, we've got Quadrado. That's the 82. You could get the 83 or the ultimate screen version of him if you wanted to. And then we have Marco Royce out on the left-hand side, 86 rated. Uh, and then in the midfield, of course, partnering with Milinkovic Savic, who's massive and like kind of clunky, we've got someone short and a little bit agile and stuff. It is Castro. So I, ho I hope that those two can work well in the centre of midfield together. And then we have our first random pick player, Serge Milinkovic Savic, 87 rated. I'm using the path to glory. I know that our pick was supposed to be for the inform, but this is just one I already had. Um, they're the exact same card, of course. One is just slightly more expensive, this one. But our base is value for money off of the inform today. Uh, and then we have the Hernan Crespo, 87 rated item, as our second random pick player. This is the, the middle ground between the baby or base version and the prime, uh, with 86 pace and dribbling as well as 88 shooting. Four-star skills and weak foot, as we know. Uh, and then, well, Batshuayi has received many special items since joining Dortmund on deadline day. Like, that's crazy. He's been absolutely firing in the goals. 87 rated with 86 pace, 87 dribbling, and 91 shooting, as well as 85 physical. So he's going to be strong as well. Of course... Having slight stamina issues is one of his sort of negatives, though. We all know about that uh, if you just look at his in-game stats. So that's the starting eleven. Uh, I was pretty happy with it. You know, we've got a, a mixture of different leagues. We've got an icon, a couple of different special items in there. Uh, and it was actually pretty fun to play the games because I was a little bit worried to start with. You know, both my strikers, kind of clunky, a little bit. You know, they're both relatively big. Uh, yeah, Crespo's got skill moves and stuff and is relatively quick. And now Batshuayi is kind of quick as well. And yeah, thank God, they both actually felt pretty solid in game. It didn't feel like a clunky fest. Uh, the servers felt great for me today playing these games and it was all good. It was all like stress-free, which is what I love. Uh, and... It was just a lot of fun, genuinely a lot of fun. Like the, the team itself, lots of goals going in. Uh, I, I mentioned in the title or the thumbnail or something that this is like my new favorite formation. And I'm going to be using it again and again in different like squad builders or just like off camera when I'm playing FIFA and stuff to see if this is a really good option because 
I first noticed it like in Barcelona when I went to watch the Foot Champions Cup that some of the pros were actually using 4-4-2 uh, and it was like a viable option. On previous FIFAs, that's not really been the case, uh, I, I feel anyway. Like there seems to be gaps everywhere. It just doesn't kind of work. Um, but this year, it seemed to do a relatively good job against... Obviously, the popular formation that everyone goes to, there's two of them, right? You've got the 4-2-3-1 and the 4-1-2-1-2. And the 4-1-2-1-2 is probably the most popular, the one that I come up against. It's also my favorite formation. Uh, but it's real narrow. And what a 4-4-2 does is wide, like spread it out a little bit, meaning that it drags some of the players out from their, from their narrow 4-1-2-1-2 uh, and, and offers you... Uh, like a little bit more space because then their team is out of out of whack and it's not quite right how they should be. So that's what I found anyway with the four four two and obviously um, it's similar to to the four one two one two. It's just a, a widened version and, and you have two central mids rather than uh, like a the diamond effect. Um, so you still got the two strikers. And Milinkovic Savage for me today kind of did act like a cam. Uh, he gets forward nicely, but he also tracked back to help. So that was great. Uh, but yeah, like it, I almost felt similar in the sense that in my attack, I kind of had like one of those attacking mids. Uh, and then, of course, my two strikers that I could play the one twos between and get the goals that way. Uh, heel clicks were my best friend during these these few games that I played and how much power was behind that header by the way that was actually the first goal in the first game that I scored and Batshuayi blew me away with just how much power he could get behind that header that was crazy it was almost like sliders had turned their way up uh, and boy we were it was almost like we were playing offline or something but of course we weren't uh, this was just in the daily knockout on Thursday evening um, before I ended up winning it for like Friday's video so yeah I, I, I did win this but not with this team uh, I think I ended up losing in the final or something but you know so be it that will happen to you from time to time uh, but look at the the work between the two strikers it was it was actually joyous I, I really enjoyed it you know Batshuayi has that good weak foot but he's lacking on the skill moves but he's got good like uh, strength and stuff but stamina is a real issue for him stamina is also a bit of an issue for Crespo it's not amazing um, but he's a little bit more technically gifted in the fact that he's got the four star skill moves uh, and you know together they've both now got an enough pace obviously Crespo hasn't had upgrades because he's he's an icon. There's three different versions of them. But Batshuayi is now at a level where he actually feels quick um, and can sprint past people and hold them off with the strength. So that's that's a nice thing to, to be able to, to use both of them together. And it's not like super horrible and super clunky. Uh, and no matter which one gets to the front post from the corner, you're going to likely score a header because they're both kind of tall and they, they both felt good in the air as well. So uh, that's that gives you another option. You can also whip the ball up from goal kicks uh, nod it down to the other one who's hopefully already making a run and it just seemed like a good partnership but you could also get away with either of these guys being the tall man and the strong man uh, and then play them next to someone who's super rapid and tiny uh, and that would also work for you so yeah kind of um it's decent, you know, they're, they're good options on the game right now. Uh, but what I would say about this Crespo is that he's not quite on the level of the Prime. You know, I have now used the Prime and it... it there's a difference. You, there is a noticeable difference, that's for sure. From my opinion, anyway, like after using them both for a few games there, uh, he doesn't quite feel on that level, which uh, is interesting because the stats aren't hugely different, but there's a noticeable difference of how they play in game for me. Um, but I can't really, you know, say much in the negative way about my defense. All of the Dutch guys there performed really well, especially Van Dijk. He's obviously the best out of all of them lot. Being a special card, being super strong, being super great on this game, uh, like I, I, I did enjoy using him. Uh, and of course, there's better versions of De Vrij. He, you could go with his upgraded version uh, or an inform or two that he's got as well. So... Uh, yeah, good good Dutch centre-backs on this game this year, that's for sure. Him, Van Dijk, there's also uh, one in the, the Dutch league as well who's superb. Delict, I think it is. Uh, also can't really fault the left mid, right mid. Their pace drags out players, meaning there's more space in the middle for the likes of uh, Gonzalo Castro, who's a, a nice workhorse getting up and down the pitch. And Malinkovic Savic, who is kind of like that, but slightly clunkier version. I really like him, though. I'm going to give him a four-star value for money because the price that this has brought the the informed version of this guy down to the second informed version down to or 
third in form, should I say, um, is crazy. But the one that's superb value for money would be five star, would be the 86 rated Milinkovic Savage. Uh, but overall, just a great performance from him, and I do like him in the midfield. He's a bit of a game changer. Uh, Crespo gets the four star value for money and the 8.5 out of 10. Um, I reckon he's even cheaper than that right now, obviously, because of the way that we had the icon SBCs uh, after I actually played this. So this was Thursday afternoon to evening, and then, of course, on the Thursday afternoon evening, uh, we got the guaranteed icon SBC, which has brought the price of some icons down quite heavily. In Batshuayi, gets five star value for money. If you've got better stats than Crespo uh, and you put away the goals as well, for 129k, you're getting a beast. You really are. Nine out of ten. This is the ones to watch value, uh, value as well. So, um, at the time of recording, this was very similar price to the actual 87 rated inform. So why not get this one when there's a potential for him to go up one or two more ratings before like team of the season or whatever uh, when ones to watch is stop being effective. So there you go, guys. That is the random pick for today. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. And of course, don't forget to sub to the channel if you're new. Most importantly, have a lovely Sunday. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.